Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. Today was a very surprising day. Jim went out to the mailbox and he comes in with a package. And let me put that little video in right here. Jim brought in the mail and I have a package and it's from Jules and M and I don't remember winning anything from Jules and M but it says fragile on here and there's a really pretty flower that she glued down this flower and then there's a flower on top to make it look dimensional. It's really cute. Well, I will open it and see what it is. I have no idea. This is really a mystery. Guess that's one of the things with YouTube. You get stuff in the mail and you have no idea what it is until you get I don't it open. Remember, I don't remember. I don't remember. Um, I don't remember. I just don't remember. Oh my goodness, I don't know. It's heavy. Oh, it's got a bag. Looks That's like cute. a cat. Oh, how cute. It's a grocery type bag. Isn't that adorable? I bunny tote. It says a bunny on it. It's cute. Yeah, it's adorable. Look, it's got the bunny ears. There we go. <laughs> how cute. <laughs> but what is it? I have no idea. It's heavy. And it's wrapped well. Looks like maybe a coffee uh, cup. It's a mug. Oh my oh. goodness. Look at that. <laughs> oh, how cute. Life is better with chickens. That is for sure. Look at that. That's, that's beautiful. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I love it. Mm -hmm. This is so nice. Thank you. Oh, I'm, I'm not on camera right now because I really don't like the looks of myself at the moment. I don't have, you look my, beautiful. I don't have my hair on. You look beautiful. And I have my funny sweater on that I wear all the time. Can you see the sweater? This one I wear all the time because I am always cold. But, oh, this is gorgeous. Thank you so much, Jewel. Actually, her name is Angel. <laughs> but her channel name is Jules and M. Yes, thank you so much. Oh my goodness. This is very thoughtful. Very, very thoughtful. Thank you. As we were folding the bags, look what we found. We found a card. And it says Nona Grace on it. So I will open the card. This is a little backwards. We should, should have opened the card before we look at the gift. It's got a high heel. How cute. Look at that high heel. I wish I could wear shoes like this, but you know what? I couldn't, even if I wanted to. Hey, Nona Grace, hope this gets to you in one piece. It did. We love your channel and so wanted to send you the little something. Jules and M. Thank you. This little something is adorable. Thank you very much. I love it. In that package, this beautiful cup was there. And I got this from Jules and M. And Jules, is real. her real name is Angel. Thank you very much, Jules. This is so cute. And it says, life is better with chickens. Well, that is for sure. Life is better with chickens. And I know it firsthand. Yep. I also wanted to do my 10 question tag today that I was tagged with by Keto Marnie, Keto Crocheter. And it's supposed to be 10 non-yarny things about me. Now, because a lot of you have been around for a long time, know a lot of these answers already, but those of you that are new may not have heard it. So I'm going to tell you 10 things. You may have heard them before, and then again, you may not have. But okay, the first one is I ride and I drive a motorcycle. And my motorcycle is white. And I've been doing that, I know. And I've been doing that for nine years. I did have extra wheels put on because as you get older, your balance doesn't stay as nice. I do ride a two-wheel bike that is just a bicycle bike. But you know how you used to be able to just turn around and look behind you? I don't dare do that. I feel like I might fall over. So I did have extra wheels put on my bike. So I am driving more or less like a trike. But I took the test with a two-wheel bike nine years ago. I have chickens and one lives in the house when the weather is really bad and that one that lives in the house is called Mr. Brown and Mr. Brown got his name as Mr. Brown because he was she it's not a he I thought it was a That's he right. 
She was born the same day that my Aunt Rosemary passed away, and had I known it was a girl, Mr. Brown's name would have been Rosemary. But because I was thinking it was a rooster, I decided I would just use her last name. So that's how Mr. Brown got her name. And I've decided I'm going to keep it as Mr. Brown. It's kind of fun saying Mr. Brown laid an egg when you know <laughs> roosters don't lay eggs, but hens do. Mm -hmm. She is a little chicken. Number three, have been a caretaker for children through foster care, through daycare, my own children, my grandchildren, and I've also taken care of elderly people. I used to work in a nursing home, and I also had my parents living here with me, so I did elder care with them. And my mother, she actually had Alzheimer's and dementia. I talked about that in one of my other videos, and it is a really difficult thing to care for someone that has that because no matter what you do, you're always tricking them, they think, and they really, they get very suspicious of you. What, what other kids have you worked with in a public setting? Oh, I had the school kids, too. I forgot about that. I wrote it down. I've got notes here, but do you follow your notes? No. I used to work at a school also, and I did. I worked with autistic children. Now, that's another group of children that are very difficult to handle. I feel for those families that have autistic children 24 hours a day, seven days a week. It's really hard. Jim and I have almost been married for 41 years. We got married July 26, 1980, and we had a 12 o'clock noon mass. Now, I don't think they do that anymore, but we got married at high noon, and it was a full, it was a high mass, and I didn't have, I was asked one time if I had a theme or a color scheme or something, and I said no. I was more on the practical side. I liked the color blue, so we were looking for dresses that might be in the shade of blue, and that's what I had. I had blue dresses, mm -hmm. and the Jim wore a blue tux just because, nope. no, he wore a white tux, I that's right. White, the other guys wore, hairs. yeah, the other guys had the a little bit of blue. To match the girls and their boutonniere had a little blue in it I believe but no we didn't have a theme but we have no. been married it will be 41 years July 26th is our wedding anniversary doesn't seem that long I know it, it seems, it seems like, like well blink two of an three eye years not even it <laughs> feels like a blink of the eye to me yeah um, my favorite color is red <laughs> it used to be blue but I wear a lot of red ever since my hair went light uh, the red looks much better. I wear blue and I look really pale. It like washes me out completely. I drive an orange car. And why do I have an orange car? Well, I didn't want a red car because I just we just bought a red car for my daughter. She had the choice of red or green or black. black. And she chose red. So I thought, well, you know, orange, I didn't see any orange cars around. So I got an orange car, but now I see orange cars ever since I got mine. And I told you my motorcycle was white. And I wear pink when I drive my motorcycle. But I got a new helmet, and that's white. My old mm -hmm. helmet is pink. The, my favorite number should be number five. Why do I say it should be number five? Well, because I'm five feet tall. I wear a size five shoe. My ring is size five. I used to wear a five dress. I don't know what I wear now. I'm sure the numbers are crazy. But everything was five. So... Anything you wanted to buy me, just make sure it was size 5 and it would fit. I grew up on a farm, that's number 7, and I had one grandparent. I had a grandfather, Nanu, and I never got to see my grandmothers or spend time with them. A lot of you that say that you got to spend time with your grandparents, I, you know, that must be wonderful because you, you, a lot of things I do remind you of your grandparents or living with or visiting your grandparents, and I didn't have that opportunity. My mother did live with her grandma one summer, and she really didn't want to come back home after visiting the grandma. She enjoyed being an only child. She was a child of seven, so there was, you know, to be, and she was the oldest of seven, so she was really happy to be an only child for a while. I ran my own business twice. Uh, yeah, twice, and I was a corporation. I was incorporated, a small S corporation. I was the first daycare to ever be 
incorporated and I had a lawyer do the work and he said had he known it was so involved he would have charged me triple of what he charged me and Jim ended up having to finish the incorporation because he really didn't do a complete job which nope. is sort of sad. Number nine I used to program I used to write computer programs a long time ago. Could I do it today? No. And it was with um, the basic language and I used DAWs. Now they have windows and Computers are a lot prettier, just like cartoons. Cartoons were really stinky when I was a kid. And now the, the graphics are so realistic, the kids would never want to watch my cartoons. And number 10, I like to craft with everything and anything, and everything looks like a craft. I think that's I have all. a hard time throwing anything away. I know, away, he says... You say, oh. I could make something out of that. Yeah, he says, do, do you want this before he throws something out? That's pretty sad. That's why I have a lot of junk in my house. A lot of stuff that really isn't it. You would look at it and you'd say, why does she have this? Why is she taking, Why is she keeping this? This isn't worth anything. Did I show the cup? Yes. Yes, I did. you did. I want to show it again because <laughs> I forgot that I showed it. This is the cup that I got from Angel. 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 Yes. Jules and M. Thank you again, Jules. This is really, it's really nice. And Mr. Brown is back outside. And I think I better say... Dorothy? Oh, Dorothy. What about Dorothy? Oh, I took Dorothy out of the cage because I thought, well, maybe she should be okay. But no, she wasn't. So she's back in the chicken jail. That poor Dorothy. And I ended up taking one of my buffs out of the nesting box today. Boy, they're heavy birds. They're really big. And she fluttered a little bit, but then she stood on my hand. So I guess I can carry more than one bird like I do Mr. Brown. I better say goodbye. This is getting long. And I will talk to you all again tomorrow. So take care. Bye-bye.